So today's self-inquiry is going to be um, a non-doing practice. There's going to be no um, no actual guiding in the sense that I won't be asking you to do or practice anything. So all techniques, all practices are movements of the conditioned mind. So what is it that's happening here today? What is this? What is this guided meditation or pointing? What is this about? This self-inquiry. So what we're doing here, the reason for this gathering is to realize our true nature, to realize, you could say, the self or Buddha nature. And we do this because there's something drawing us, there's some motivation. And where does that motivation come from? I'm not sure. But there's something, an impulse to awaken, a desire to awaken. Perhaps a synchronicity has brought you here. Some connection, some energy. So for this inquiry, we don't need any special posture, any special technique. We're not gonna be controlling the breath or we don't need a mantra. Your eyes can be open or closed. And just notice if you have any expectation or if you're holding any concept of what meditation is or what inquiry is. Are you holding some concept that something has to be practiced or that the eyes have to be closed. If you're choosing something, notice who or what is choosing in the moment. The concepts really just complicate this inquiry. We want to inquire directly into who or what we are. It's not about controlling inner energy. When we inquire into who we are, inner energies may awaken. Different phenomena may unfold. Kundalini may awaken and start to rewire the vessel. And this is simply a byproduct of inquiry. This practice has been called by many names. Practicing Prajna Paramita, the ultimate wisdom, or Maha Mudra, the great seal, or Atma Vichara,
which means something like soul discernment, discerning the real from the unreal. You can't use the limited mind to discern what is beyond the mind. So the first thing we learn in this practice, we learn with the conditioned mind, the limitation of the conditioned mind. The conditioned mind has only one useful purpose in this practice, and that is to let go. to let go of its controlling. To let go of its knowing. To let go of its endless wanting, seeking of comfort, of pushing away pain. And we don't want to push away the mind, you know, even pushing away the mind is another act of the mind. So we simply let the mind be exactly as it is. but with the understanding that we are not limited to that mind. Who is watching the mind? Who or what is aware of the movements of the mind? So I'm going to put out some words, which are just pointers, not to be analyzed. The words are pointing beyond the conditioned mind. to the true self, to you. I'm going to say or provide pointers with different words and saying the same thing in different ways. So first, be aware of the sense of I. Simply be aware of the sense of I. or the sense of I am. Be aware of I amness, of existence.
be aware of awareness. Be aware of awareness alone, not awareness of something. Just rest as awareness, aware of itself. There's no movement to find awareness. Any movement is within the conditioned mind. There's no separation, no observer and observed. Just resting as awareness aware of itself. It's also aware of being present. It's the same thing. Just aware of being present, being in the now. Showing up for this moment. Another way to say it is to just be. Just being, there's no doing, there's no effort. Yet there is energy, there is an aliveness present. So there's an allowing of what is. An equanimity with what is. non-resistance to what is. Another way to say it is to stay at the source of I. Stay at the source of I. 
without projecting into external things. The mind creates a projection of things through concepts. So stay at the source of I. Just notice the mind's tendency to move because of its dissatisfaction with what is. Just be equanimous at the center of this feeling of I or sense of I, which is really beyond physical senses. So you're just being. You don't have to do anything to just be because you already are. If you drop the fixation on the mind and senses, then who are you in this moment? Beyond concepts, beyond the filtering of the mind. seeing directly without the limited mind. Just notice if the mind is trying to get involved in any way. If there's some subtle seeking of 
some intention to achieve something. Just notice if the mind is mediating in any way. And we don't have to do anything about it. Simply be conscious of what is in play in the mind. Once it's conscious, then the energy will naturally unfold out of those patterns. There may be a natural building of energy within the self-structure, kind of internal pressure. So we continue to stay as awareness. Don't get involved we're entangled with any phenomena that is arising. It's letting everything arise and pass away. Without preferences. Without judgments. without expectations. Without any knowing from the past. So to arrive here and now is to make this moment new. to arrive fully in this moment. The energy is freed from its old constructs. So 
we allow the energy to circulate freely with its own intelligence. Who is aware in this moment? Who or what is aware in this moment? Who are you in this moment? When these words are heard, is there a movement of the mind looking for an answer. Don't look for an answer with the mind. Be still and know the answer. Be still and know directly the truth. The mind will try to seek an answer as if it's something outside to be found. But the truth of who you are is much closer. you surrender the seeker, the inquirer, the meditator, surrender all doing, then what is left?
Notice the sense of I in this moment, being aware of awareness. Notice if awareness is separate, if there's a sense of separation from what is arising. field of changing phenomena in the mind and senses. Is awareness something separate from that field of change? Is there a duality? Don't look for an answer with the mind. Just allow yourself to abide as awareness. inhabiting this moment. Without any knowing, without any controller,
Notice if this moment is lucid. Where is love in this moment? Is awareness, a loving awareness? Are you loving awareness in this moment? Are you loving what is in this moment? Or is there resistance? Just observe. See whether awareness is separate from love. Or are they one and the same? Just find out.
for the last few minutes of the meditation. If your eyes are closed, and I invite you to just open them a little bit or as much as you want. Just allow the senses to be wide open. The truth of who and what we are is not contingent on any state or any particular configuration of the senses. Your true nature is as it is, whether the eyes are open or closed. Whether the mind is in a state of waking or dreaming or even deep sleep. Just continue to abide as that awareness, that true self. As presence, just allowing the senses to be wide open.
as we come towards the end of the hour, just notice if the mind has any expectation that this is going to end, that we're going to shift out of some thing called meditation or inquiry back into so-called normal life. Just notice if there's some such concept in play in the mind. I'm not going to ring a bell today to end the inquiry. We can continue to abide as the self. Continuous practice allows for a metamorphosis transformation within the self-structure. If you can abide as the self for hours or days, weeks, a lifetime, and this is the correct approach to practice continuous, continuous abiding as the self. It doesn't have to end. So we'll switch now into question and answer mode. Um, for those who haven't been here before, um, it's just an opportunity to connect, um, to talk about practice, talk about life, um, whatever's coming up for you, um, to just share whatever's coming up on the path. Um, you can use the raise hand feature, um, or you can just unmute yourself. Just going to stop the